Oh my gosh, I totally did not mean to go live right now. I was not ready. I'm trying to get my tripod going, but I'm live. So let me check something for you guys. This is totally awkward. I, last time I decided to go live, I realized, to, okay, Johnny Garcia, hey. Hey, hey, last time I decided to go live, guys, I did this entire live video and not a single person was watching. And I did not understand what was going on, but I finished the video and then at the end, I was I found out that I had it set to privacy so only I could see it. Like, you know, you can set public or private. Um, and so I realized a little, little too late that I did not have it, nobody was seeing it because everyone was gone because I had it private for me only. So I hit the live button when I was trying to get my tripod set up here and it went live and I wasn't quite ready yet. So I apologize guys for my flusterness right now. Hey Sheila, long time no talk. So I am going live for 30 days starting today. And it was a decision that I made about 30 seconds ago. And then I decided to put it out there so that I couldn't change my mind because I'm really bad about changing my mind. Are you guys bad about changing your mind? So I'm doing the Facebook Live 30 day challenge. If you guys are in uh, considering opening your own business or maybe you've got a side hustle going on or you just wanna challenge yourself, uh, yeah, you should do this. You should do a 30 day live video challenge. And so all it takes is that you commit to going live at least once a day um, for 30 days and talk about whatever. So. Today's topic, guys, is something that I that's important to me because as those many of you that know me know that uh, I quit my corporate job about six months ago and I thought I had a plan, but I actually didn't have a plan at all. And I invested money in a business academy and marketing and branding and to try to figure out. And what I what what's happened here that I love is that in my journey to figure it out, I've completely like stopped doing everything that I thought I was going to do with health coaching and completely turned my entire business around and I locked myself up last week so that's why Sheila you, you didn't see me last week I literally went into my dark a very dark hole last week and um, just thought like what am I doing what and I after some soul searching because that's I have to kind of work it out with the chatter in my head so all my chatter voices, they all came to join my pity party and we talked it out and you know, I really thought hard about what it is that I love to do and the piece about businesses is the idea piece. Like I love helping people launch their businesses. I love helping people, especially women. I see so many women that are so great at what they do and they're limiting themselves. There's so many career limiting beliefs and my career studio business that I was, that I was doing that I've gotten more engagement from career studio than any of my business ideas I've ever had. So it's like, why would I not keep doing Career Studio? I love it. And for those of you that may have read my post yesterday, I realized, and I had to put it out there, that I don't ever want to encourage anyone to stay in an office job. And I can tell you all day long how to interview well. I can tell you how to market yourself and, and how to negotiate your salary and, and, and do all of that. But in my heart, I'm telling you to run. Like, don't do it. Like, run as fast as you can because we live in a world now where you do not need to work in an office. Like we have so many skills that you can monetize and, and you can launch your business and, and do contract work with companies if you want to keep that engagement with corporate worlds. But you do not have to work a nine to five anymore. It's like totally archaic. It's like so 2004. So, you know, here I am learning all these new concepts in this academy and, um, yeah, so I decided, you know, what I'm doing is I really essentially what I'm doing with Career Studio is I'm helping women brand themselves. And if women that are really interested in branding themselves, you know, they I find that in talking to them, you guys you guys should be opening your own businesses. Like you should be contracting yourselves out and, and launching your own business. So how do you do that? And this is what this is where my skill set comes in. Like I love the marketing, I love the branding piece. I love um, telling you how to personally brand yourself by how by how you speak and how you you know your social media and how how you put yourself out there and how to create ideas to generate around your business so to kick off my day one of 30 days on Facebook I'm going to hate myself for this idea just wait by day like three I'm going to be crying not wanting to go on but it's something that makes me a little uncomfortable the live the whole live thing so 
this is why I know it's a good idea. And I would love, for, if you guys want to do it, you guys should do it. 30 days. You can just talk about whatever for 30 days. So today's things are going to be three ways for three concepts for you guys to realize um, when it comes to the idea of launching your own business because I know you might not have told anybody but I know there's a lot of you guys out there I know you're out there and you're either working your side business now while doing a nine-to-five and let me know if this is you or you're asking yourself this question there's got to be more to this life I always ask myself that question I grew up asking myself that question. My first jobs, like, is this it? Then I go to the next job, is this it? Then I go to the next job, oof, is this it? Like, is this my life? And now, you know, here I am, every year we're getting older and I'm thinking, no, this is not it. But here's the thing, here's the thing. I always thought that everyone had that question. I always thought that everyone said to themselves, is this it? And I've realized that a lot of people don't ask themselves that question. So if you do, you're part of this group of, of people that want more. But that's not to say that people that don't ask that question, there's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong. I mean, people that are more like us, that are type A, we might think like, well, don't you want more? No, they, many, 95%, 95% of people are comfortable being comfortable. 95%, and if you ask me, I actually would say it's more like 99.9% .9 of people that are comfortable being comfortable. But according, statistically, 95% of people are comfortable being comfortable and they don't, they don't even think to think about doing anything crazy. And that's fine, that is fine. But my content will probably not be speaking their language and that's fine. I'm gonna say right now, I mean, my husband is that way. He's probably gonna kill me. He's good, like he's good. And he gets mad at me, he's like, oh, not, geez, damn, not everyone, not everyone wants more, not everyone has a passion, and not everyone wants to reach for the stars, da, da, da. and I'm like, really? But now I get, I'm knowing him, and I'm very grateful for him, because if we were both, you know, crazy, who knows what that would look like, and because having him, and having his stability, and having his confidence in me, and him saying, listen, I'm good, you go, you go, you do what you need to do, but I'm good. I need that and so for me that works out well so I want you guys to make sure you know that if somebody is good and somebody's comfortable let them be comfortable but for those of you that do ask the question there's got to be more to this hey Alana Alana just did my hair do you guys like my hair Alana just cut it for me thanks for joining so if you guys ask yourself that question consider this you know if you want to start skilling up leveling up lifing up, careering up, whatever we want to call it. You guys know I love the word up. When you want to up your levels, you've got to do certain things. You have to change your mindset. And for so many women, I've worked with women the last 10 years and, and kind of going back to my basics, trying to figure out, you know, my direction and what my experience is. I realized that I've had, I've been doing this for the last 10 years. I've been motivating people, especially women to set goals, achieve your goals, Stop crying when things don't go your way. You wipe yourself up, off, you get back up, and you do it again. You know, when you give a public presentation, I know you're nervous and you don't want to do it and you're uncomfortable. I am too. I'm uncomfortable too. But you put your big girl pants on and you go and you do it. You throw your hair to the side, you get your confidence, and you level up and you just go and do it. And I've always been the person that wants to coach women to freaking do it even if you have to fake it I know it sounds bad to fake it I don't want anyone to be fake but I do believe I do believe in the concept of not faking it until you make it but fake it until all of a sudden one day you become it because that was me my entire life I was the shy person I wouldn't talk I didn't want to I didn't want to do anything I was I was terrified of people and I just started faking it and faking it and faking it and all of a sudden one day I turned around and I've become it I've become a confident person so I want you guys to realize that if you want to reach the maximum level of your success, if you want to career up, if their nine to five is your jam, if you want to level up, if you want to skill up, if you want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to just freaking live a life of success, you guys have to realize that the magical moment for that is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. I was just telling Alana today, like literally the unicorn, if you're waiting for it to start shitting sprinkles out of its ass because the moment has arrived for you and your financial is your financials are all ready to go and you've got the money to do it and you've got the time to do it and your kids are finally it halfway through third grade and your second kid is in this grade and everything is perfect 
it's not going to happen. Like it's never going to happen. And that's the thing with, with going out guys and doing things that make us uncomfortable. It's never the right moment. It's never the right. So you have to just go do it. Just go do it. I mean, when I left my corporate job, it was the worst moment. I was, it was the worst moment financially for us. It was, it was, it was a horrible idea. If you look at it on paper, if you, if you looked at everything on paper, it was a horrible idea. Nobody in their right mind would recommend that I do that. But I did it because I've realized that it's always a horrible idea. There's always a reason not to do it. So you just have to do it. You have to put everything in. And if you guys, number two, my second point of three is that if you guys aren't willing to empty your tank, so think about we're on this marathon of life, right? Think about every day is the end of your marathon. They always say at the end of your run, you have to empty your tank. Like every day you should be emptying your tank. Every day you should be willing to put everything on the line because when you guys do something uncomfortable and you're not willing to risk everything, nothing's going to drive you. So for me personally, I put everything on the line. Everything is on my idea of what I want to become as an entrepreneur. And if it does, it, it drives me every day. I was telling Nick today, my husband's on vacation, so he's home. And I was telling him today, I'm like, as much as I hate the time crunch I have because I need to make things work in a certain amount of time, as much as I despise this time crunch because I'm already a very impatient person. So now take my impatience and now put a time parameter on my impatience and I, he's worried I'm going to have a heart attack some days. I'm like totally stressing myself out because I'm like, I want all this stuff. I want to go, 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 go. And I'm like, oh! and it's not happening fast. And, I'm like, and I was telling him today, I'm like, God, if I just, if you could just tell me that Jen, you have all the time in the world. Make it happen whenever you want to make it happen. When it, when the time is right, it'll be fine. But in the meantime, just go with the flow and do your business. And and I was like, how great would that be? But really, that would be horrible for me. Because you know what I would do? I would be like, you know what? I'm not feeling it today. I'm just going to I'm gonna take a couple weeks off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the beach for a couple weeks. And or I'm going to relax. Or I'm going to get a movie tonight and just watch TV. Like, I know me. I would totally take it off. I would take time off. So I appreciate the fact that we have this time crunch. So if you're worried about not having enough time or not having enough money, realize, guys, realize those are the things that are going to drive you into action. And if you don't take muddy, dirty action and get thick in the dirt and grime of it all, it's not going to be successful. It's not. If I was a millionaire right now, if, my, if I came from money or my husband made millions of dollars, I'm telling you, our natural tendency would be to just let it happen or not, not have anything happen. We would just relax. Maybe we would just go shopping every day. And that's not fun. You think it's a good idea, but you don't, I don't think you guys would really like that. And then the last one I had is that it's just really important that you stand for something. And what I mean by that is figuring out when you launch into entrepreneurship, even if it's a product, these days the way the world works is through millennials and social media and everyone wants to buy something that has a story and everyone wants to buy from someone that they can relate to because they stand for what I stand for. So I, I'll use Alana today, she's on, she, I got my hair done by her. I can get my hair done by hundreds of different people. But Alana and I have a similar story. I've known her for years. We have kids the same age. We've grown into motherhood together. We're both entrepreneur, entrepreneur spirited and we both, we collaborate well. And it's like, she's my jam. I, I relate to her. I understand her. She's my story. Her story is my story. So you have to have your story and you have to put your story out there and stand for your story. Because there's a lot of people that you're, they're going to be like, you're not my story. I don't really know you. I don't really get you. You're kind of weird. Or, hey, Jen, you're like way too type A for me and you're exhausting me. That's fine. That's okay. They're not mine. They're not mine. And so when it comes to branding yourself, what is your story? How are you sharing your story? Because I have to, I, in order for me to, to connect with people, I have to put it out there. So my personal story, I stand for, those that know me, has always been with, you know, I have my career studio business and I'm all about developing people and developing women. But when I look back on what I, the pieces of, of career studio or the pieces of personal development that I've always zeroed in on, it's about female empowerment. And I don't mean that from a feminist, like girls rule the world, even though they do rule the world, but I don't stand for it in that way. I stand for women in the sense that the women that are, that need to have a voice and can't seem to find their voice because 
I used to be that woman that was so terribly shy and so insecure and, and could not, you couldn't look at me without me crying. And I used to be that woman and I would never get in front of people and speak. And I've grown out of that and I help other women. I recognize it, especially in young women. I recognize, hmm, she's insecure. She needs to get her shit together. She needs to throw her hair behind her and like stand up for something. And I've always connected with those women to help gain the confidence. Like you need confidence. You need to do this and this is how you're going to do it. And this is how it's going to be great. And I believe in you. Like I see those women and all I see in them is confidence. And I just need them to see, I need them to see it so they can show it. Like I see it. I believe in them more than they believe in themselves. And when it comes to women and entrepreneurship, I see so many damn women. It drives me crazy. I see so many women and I see such potential. I see such potential in these women and they do not see it in themselves. And my personal mission is to help guide them and to help them launch their businesses and help them launch their confidence so that they can do their business because it's not about not having the skill set to do the business, it's about having the confidence. They know how to do it and they're great at it and they don't see that they shine so much more than all these other people. They don't see that star beaming over their head. They don't see it. They need someone that sees it. So I really recommend guys, you know, when we're considering, you know, getting, if we're going to get married, we hire a wedding planner, or if we're going to, um, we want to get fit, we hire a personal trainer or, you know, it's like, it's, we have these people that we hire to have specialties. And I really encourage you for the same reason, if you're considering launching your business, the best thing I ever did, the best thing I ever did in launching my business, the best thing I ever did was to invest in my business. The very first thing I invested in was learning. And I hired a business coach. I hired a woman as a business coach. I signed up with her and it was the best thing I ever did. So if you are thinking of opening your business, I'm not saying you have to hire me. What I'm saying is that you need to hire someone and it's a tax write off. So you get your tax write off and you're telling yourself from the beginning that you believe in your business, that you believe in yourself and that you just need someone that's been there, done that to guide you and show you how to do it. And you're good. Best thing I ever did. So I got way off topic and that was probably way too long, but 30 days of Facebook, oh my gosh, stab me with an eye. I'm going to not like it, but I do like it, but I don't like it. So I hope you guys have a great day and thanks Alana for doing my her today and I will talk to you lovelies later.